Back in April, I got into trouble with some members of the gyrocopter community. Mm, I still need some convincing that gyrocopters aren't the worst of both worlds. My name's Steve Box. I've been flying gyroplanes for over 25 years now. I've come to Popham Airfield to find out, and I shall let you know at the end of this video whether I was right or not. So our big job today is to uh, prove to Rachel that she was wrong. Airspeed indicator, altimeter, master switch, magneto, switch to fuel pumps. We've got There's fuel pressure here. here. And okay, so while we're flying along, um, that comes on green, when everything's happy. The okay, so, uh, we're just going to turn the if it all runs over. away on us, Master we're going to turn off the magneto switch. Okay, so done all that, excellent like inspection, fuel content's on check, we've got loads. Excel hatch is secure, okay, I'm happy with our position, the and yeah, the pills are okay, adjusted then. as far as the camera. So, um, we talked about the pre-rotation. Jar Golf, uh, Oscar X-ray lining up, runway 2 on after landing. Golf, Oscar X-ray, roger. And you got a little vent on your door there if oh, you want yeah. to uh, open that up. Okay, so we're going to line up on the runway. Those wheel is straight. Okay, I'm just going to pop a bit of brake on. We've got 1800 uh, to 2000 RPM. Right so if you could just uh, squeeze, gently down, squeeze on the pre rotator for me. The first right, and then, uh, gently squeeze it on. That's good. Gently yeah, squeeze it on. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yes, keep going, keep eight, going. Uh, you're not, break, you're not going to break anything, keep going, and keep squeezing, uh, yeah, yeah, the other Please, uh, just hold it there for a moment, okay, that's good, so it's all starting to come up, okay, you happy? Yep. Aircraft T's and P's are good, wind is down the runway, and the runway's now clear, okay, just keep squeezing, that's great, okay, so now we're going to bring the stick all the way back, you keep squeezing that pre-rotator, I'm going to feed in the power. I'll just follow you through on the controls. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Okay, there's 200, going to give it a bit more power. That's great. Okay, so one, release the pre-rotator. Let it go. Pre-rotator off. Let go of the silver lever. Two, the stick is back. Three, release in the brake. So now it's just airflow through the rotors that keep them turning. Yeah. So the rotor RPM's initially dropping. Now it's stabilized. Now it's starting to build. Once we got 200 RPM with the rotor RPM building, I'm just going to feed in the power. I'm going to set about 35 inches of manifold pressure. Okay. So, nose will starting to come up, so that's good, I'm happy there, so just forming along with the nose will just touch ground, and putting the rest of the power in, we're going to fly it off. I'm just gently lowering the nose, let the aircraft accelerate, I'm just going to keep it close to the ground so Ian can take some pictures. There he is. <laughs> Cheeky wave as we go past. Okay, put the rest of the power and we'll climb away. Good look left for traffic, and just gently coming around to the right. So a lot of people think that flying a gyroplane is going to be like riding a unicycle. Yeah. Okay, that you're just on it the whole time, and if you let go, it'll all fall apart. But just take your hand off the controls. But once it's That's trained... That's very counterintuitive. Okay. <laughs> the less we do, the better it will fly. Wow. Okay. So we got about 60 to 65 in the climb. Yeah. All right, we're doing quite well because you're mercifully light. I'm just going to bring the power back to max continuous, which is 35 inches. The nose is coming down all by itself. We're going to turn just out over these grain silos here. Yeah. Wow, I'm, I'm astonished that you could just let go of the controls like that. Yeah. Okay. And not that you need to do anything, but you have control. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I have control doing nothing. <laughs> yeah. And it will roll off to one side. So yeah. you need a little bit of right stick. Okay. okay. Just keep it straight, just find your point in the distance, fly us off. And do I need to do anything with the pedals at this point? So we just try and keep that uh, oh, little yeah. string in the middle. So it needs a little bit of right pedal pressure. So we'll come to about 1800 feet. If you bring the power back now with your left hand, bring it to back to back, just below 30 inches of manifold pressure. Okay, and just allow the nose to come down. Just let it do what it wants to do, basically. Yeah, yeah. bring the power back a bit more, reduce the power, a little bit of right stick, and we'll just keep flying along the A, uh, A303 here. Just keep the A303 oh, yeah. on the left hand okay. side. Okay. So you wouldn't see your instructor quite this chilled with someone on their first flight in an R22. No, that's for sure. So, you know, why do we fly jar planes? Well, they're straightforward compared to, um, to a helicopter, you know, easy to fly. But most of the flight envelope, yeah, they will fly like, a, like I said, like an aeroplane. Yeah. We got fantastic visibility, you know, just like an it helicopter, so not actually, a lot yeah. in the way. I can um, see the Solent over there. Yeah, that's right. So the hills on the far uh, horizon, the that's the Isle of Wight. Yeah. Got brother Johnny, no, the controls are really the heavy, aren't they, compared yeah. with... So it's one of the features of the Magnes. It's, beca it's because of the way the, uh, 
that the rotors are bounced, they've got quite a forward right, centre of gravity, and so that means that they resist changes in direction. Okay. Okay. So what it does, it means you've got quite heavy controls. Yeah. But it does do mean it does make the aircraft very stable. Let's try a 360 degree turnaround to the right. You only need about 10 or 15 degrees angle of bank. Spot where the horizon is, and just a bit of back pressure as we turn, just to stop the nose from dropping. A scenic basing stoke in that direction. There's the airfield. Oh yeah. Time up a bit more there. If you want. Okay, good spot, thank you. So as you roll out, just ease off that back pressure. So we'll try going around to the left. Okay, you can tighten up a little bit this time if you want. Clear my side. Yep, clear both sides. Okay, so just roll, back pressure. Just need to add a little bit of power. Okay. What we're going to do now is what's called a vertical descent. So it's going to bring the power back to idle. Yeah. We're going to allow the airspeed to drop. We'll maintain about 20 miles an hour, so you've got some airflow of the rudder. Otherwise, the bodywork doesn't know which direction it's pointing in. Okay. It will just come down vertically underneath the rotors. Yeah. All right. So, well, we're kind of into wind. So I just want to do a quick clearing turn. If you just take me 90 degrees to the right, so I can just, just so I can check behind us. Two one right hand. Mike Kula, keep a lookout. Shara Golf Lima here, clearing to the west, remaining. Okay, I'm happy with that. You come back right. round to the left. Golf Lima here. Upwards and twins, so height's good, area suitable, we're both secure. Engine T's and P's are all happy. I'm happy with the lookout. It's just a roll level there. Let's just bring the power back to idle. That's it. Let's just hold that attitude. Pull the power off. That's it. Okay, just hold the attitude. The aircraft's going to slow down now. Okay. So, SP's bleeding off. Everything's quite happy, just hold, yeah, the, the nose is trying to drop and maintain the trim speed, so pitch up slightly for me, we're just going to try and bring it back to between about 20, well, nearly 20 miles an hour. Okay, that's good. Hold the attitude kind of there, lovely. Okay, then you can look out the side, you see we're just this going down so first over the ground. <laughs> so this is a nice little height loss manoeuvre, we're sometimes doing it for a forced landing or when we're coming to land, if we're not going to annoy the aeroplanes, and it's a great way of scaring aeroplane pilots as well. Now we can't come down vertically all the way to the ground, because we'd have nowhere stopping our descent yeah. when we get there. So to recover we just need to lower the nose to regain some airspeed. Good, so height's bleeding off quite nicely. So to recover, we're just going to recover into level flight, so just feed the power in, squeeze the right Pedal as the power comes in, hold the attitude, don't let the nose drop, a little bit of power, that's it, a little bit of power, good, that should do us, relax on the stick, aircraft's going to find the speed, we're done, we're flying again. That was so weird, <laughs> so counterintuitive, isn't it? I like to think it's cool, but weird will do, cool, yeah, I'll take no. weird. So we're going to shoot a forced landing onto this green uh, field down on our left here, so okay. straight up there, as you ask this one just down here in our, uh, gosh, I can't work that out, 10 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. So we've just closed the throttle. Golf Yankee Romeo downwind. Okay. And we're going to lower the nose. So we're kind of downwind at the moment. Actually, the wind's coming that way, isn't it? So actually, we're kind of crosswind, base leg, aren't we? So we're going to land that way across this field here. So okay. Rather than flying away from the field to burn off our excess height, just slow us down. So bring the speed back, okay, and we'll slow down. Okay, so now we've got plenty of time to check our field out. Okay, we can look, we've got no wires. It's not a great surface, but we're not going to land actually. So, yeah, just bring the speed back to 20, 30 miles an hour. But like I was saying, we can't um, do this all the way down to the ground. So coming down at over a thousand feet a minute at the moment, we've got no yeah. way of stopping that. So what we want to do, when we get to a few hundred feet, we're going to lower the nose, just relax on the stick, build our airspeed again, speed up to 65, and we'll make our approach. Okay. Okay, the wind's kind of coming diagonally across that field, isn't it? So that's perfect. Right, so we've got a great view of the field. Just slow us down, hold our position here. That's good. Okay. That's great. So, just eyeballing that, I haven't got quite as good a feel. Okay. So, just ease the stick forwards. We're going to aim for the corner of the field and go diagonally across it. Ease the stick forwards, let go of the stick. Let the nose come down. Let go, let go. Relax, there you go. Speed's building. Okay, back on it. Good. Okay, and they can turn us to go diagonally across the field. Keep the speed there. Straight ahead, that'll be fine. Good. We're a little bit long, aren't we, but never mind. Okay, but you can see, just relax on the stick, let the nose come down, we're going to keep our speed up, that's it, there we go. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, I've got control. Wow. You have control. Oh, we'll go around. So you can see a forced landing in a gyroplane is a fairly straightforward thing. Yeah. Now, You've just got so much time. We have. Now, doing a tight turn close to the ground in an aeroplane is a really bad idea. Yeah. Because you're quite slow, you're yeah. quite draggy, and doing a tight turn actually increases your stall speed. Whereas if you're in a gyroplane, Doing a tight turn close to the ground, we're actually increasing our rotor RPM yeah. and storing extra energy in the rotors. And so if something went wrong, we'd actually have extra energy yeah. in order to deal with it. Zulu, roger. Oh, that's awesome. A red aircraft okay. uh, at one o'clock, okay. right to left. Looking okay, right. Bob Radio, Charakol. India Romy, Oscar X-rays inbound from the west requesting airfield information. Top Oscar X-rays, the runway news, 2-1 with the right hand circuit, the QFE, and 907 hexapascals, and the circuit is active. So when we cross the extended centre line, we're going to do a power off descent, we're going to maintain our speed, um, rather than slowing down like we did before. OK. Uh, come around. OK, you can bring the power back, lower the nose. So child planes glide really well, just this little squeeze of left pedal, oh, yeah. they just don't glide very far. What we'll do is maintain this, we'll steepen it up in a minute, just okay. to... Uh, OK, you can bring the power back to about 20 inches of manifold pressure, let the nose come down. Might just need a tickle of power in a minute, but we'll leave it, that's it, that's fine, yeah. It's just really annoyingly vibrated just there, so... Yeah. Charlie Lima, Charlie Lima's uh, overhead and just about to descend. Well, the nose a bit, a little bit of power, that's Go right, Charlie let the nose Lima, come Roger. down. Maintain your speed. Good. Just bring the, oh, you're fine there, just bring the power back just a touch. Bring the power back. Good. That's very low over there. OK, yeah, that's fine. Gently tease the stick back, just a touch, hold it there. Good, hold it, just wait. Gently tease the stick back. Close the throttle, just gently. Keep the nose well up, keep it off the ground. Stick back, 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 back. And we stopped. Well done, your first gyroplane landing. Yay! Right, so a little bit different, I don't know what your expectations were, but... Uh, I didn't really know what to expect, but that yeah. was honestly brilliant. I really yeah. enjoyed it. I was surprised by how heavy the controls are. Yep. Um, but the engine failure stuff was yeah. incredible. Good. Um, yeah, I mean, the visibility is incredible. It's, yeah. a, it's a really nice, comfortable, modern cockpit, isn't it? It is, it is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Good. <laughs> Well, it's been a fantastic day here at Popham and I've really enjoyed getting to grips with the gyrocopter. Um, it's a totally different kind of flying from what I've done before. Um, I think the key to enjoying gyrocopters is to think of them in their own category. So you might fly from A to B in a fixed wing, you might land at a nice hotel in a helicopter, but the gyro is just in a class of its own. You just go out, you have fun, you don't go very fast, you, but you're, you're out there with the birds, and you're just having a good time and enjoying real raw flying. Um, so I hold my hands up and say, I was wrong. So I guess I can switch this off now.